We're live. We are live. Alright, we're at Veg Nation. And we're gonna talk about the difference between vegan and vegetarianism. I'm vegan. I'm vegetarian. Uh, I always get this question, like, what the hell is the difference between vegetarian and vegan? And the funny thing is that there's vegetarian, vegan, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the one where you just eat fish? Pescatarian. Pescatarian. You have, like, paleo, you have literally uh, so many different types of vegetarians and all of them. I'm going to say this in probably, like, the, the blankest, like, black and white crass way. If you're a vegetarian and you're eating any type of animal, being thing that's living, you're not vegetarian. You eat fish, it's not vegetarian. You know, people can say, at least calling a pescatarian is, um, you know, a, a way for them to understand it, but it's, when people say, oh, I'm vegetarian, but like, I eat chicken, it's not vegetarian at all. Um, so, the main cut and dry differences between uh, eating and a vegetarian is, Zero animal products. You know, we have uh, vegetarian foods, cheese, eggs, honey, you know, um, and just uh, being vegan is a complete plant based lifestyle. Some people believe it trickles into everything you do. Where it's so fashion, you can't wear leather, suede, no wool, no lanolins in your lotions, um, no beeswax in your chapsticks and your hair projects. Um, so it really depends on how. Younger, I was vegan for 14 years. I was very, very militant. I had a lot of trouble. Like, <laughs> trying, I was in Florida on farms and like trying to set farm animals free, like in groups, getting shot by farmers with salt pellets. Um, so I've always been the person that abstains from everything in my diet and my lifestyle. I wear synthetic leather, synthetic sleeves. Um, but, you know. There's a lot of people who try to jump directly into being plant-based and being vegan right away. And it, a lot of times it's such a drastic chop of everything. It's hard. So I, I do, I would love for everybody to be vegan, but I do recommend at least trying to cut out most, if not all, the meat in your diet and start supplementing with meat. You know, we live in a world now where you've got grocery aisles full of meat, you know, synthetic, tons of proteins and stuff. And um, when I was younger, if we went out to eat at a restaurant like this, it was like, you made you got a salad with like oil and vinegar, a lemon wedge and salt and pepper if you were lucky. So it's definitely an easier time to do it now than it's ever been, I would say. And I think this year's gonna be a lot bigger. I agree, yeah. It's been I mean it's been crazy on class, it's like kinda of gotten into like stores and stuff because like I used to before I lived down here in Vegas, I used to um, go to stores and I wouldn't see like much big meat. Yeah. Um, much different things like as far as like being vegan or vegetarian. Because when I first started, I after I broke my femur, which you all know about, um, that's when I turned vegetarian, then I turned vegan. And then um, I didn't really, I kind of hopped into it super quickly and, and I never, I ended up not eating that much at all because it was so hard to find food and like for vegans in Minnesota and so like just now recently. And, um, I remember when I went out there trying to find anything. Yeah, and the grocery started cooking the house. It was crazy. Until like, yeah. so like high beef started getting bigger, and then yeah. they had more stuff there. But shout out to the herbivores butchers out there. You guys are amazing. So we, we went in there. And yeah, that was this is vegan ribs, vegan cheeses, vegan everything. If you're in that area and you're looking for stuff, the herbivores butchers. And I know that they. Um, over by the U of M. Is that what that yeah. is? And they, they have a lot of uh, like pizzerias and uh, restaurants that are using their their meats and their cheeses uh, in their restaurant too, so it's on their menu. But I definitely recommend that place. So the one thing too uh, I wanted to talk about is like the expense part. Like a lot of people are like, oh, um, oh, being vegan and vegetarian is so expensive. Yeah, it's, it's it's it takes a nice little penny out of your pocket. It can be. Um, it can be. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think it's more of creativism, like as far as if you're gonna make food um, or do same things like mixing pastas with like you know um, different types of vegetables or like things like that. A lot of people just think, oh, you know, like can I just go buy the stuff? You can't. Like it's not that you can. And just like anything in our world, that's where that's where your dollar starts to get smaller. Yeah. You have a lunch menu now. That's yes. Okay. Yep. Cool. You can pop in. You, you can. Any of those items. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do the chicken and waffles for sure. Got it. 
Um, can I get the buffalo cauliflower one? Can I get two orders of those? Absolutely. And then can I get the CBD tea? Absolutely. And then, um, did you want anything else to drink besides the water? Um, no, I should be good with the water, I think. Okay. And I might... Oh. <laughs> Think about trying like their cheese plate because the, the Virgin Cheese Company out here is supposed to be really, really good. Okay. Try some of it. Yeah, virgin, can I get a Virgin yeah. Cheese Plate? Absolutely. Virgin Cheese. Thank you. Chef Jeff here. Yeah. So you have to cut this beginning. So Mike, Philip, Chef Jeff from Donut Bar LV. Um, this Donut Bar San Diego also. This Chef is Santiago. Okay. Yeah, he's All the right. founder. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess like what made you like get into uh, I guess uh, the vegan vegetarian aspect of like being a chef or like going out to um, Well, it wasn't. It was already created because Donut Bar San Diego has been around for five years. So they had a few uh, vegan options. So I told Santiago, I'm like, yo, we got we got to get more options because downtown Vegas is you know huge community. I mean Vegas alone, but you know with vegetation over yeah. here. Um, when we opened, I mean, it just went crazy, you know? Yeah. They loved it, you know? I just started adding more vegan options to the menu. Me and Santiago go back and forth all the time. We just launched our uh, vegan grilled cheese donut. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, man. Are you guys using Daya or like No, Art? man, uh, BioLife. BioLife is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah BioLife, they're, they're where it's like, we're going to tell you afterwards what you're eating. Yeah, you know, yeah good the, thing. I've had that kind of like thing going too, where it's like I've been around family or friends, and yeah, I'm like, oh, no, I'm eating. They're like, they obviously know I'm eating, but they're eating food. And they'll be like, I'll be like, oh, try this. It's like super good. And they're like, no, I don't want to try it because it's probably going to taste gross. But yep. then they end up trying it, and then they're like, oh, wow. It's great. Like, open up to a yeah. whole new yeah. menu of food. And it's like, and you know, then they're like, oh, I'm not going to buy some of that. Like, my friend came over and tried those. What were they going to be on meat? Um, uh, chicken, yeah. buffalo chicken that uh, Whole Foods does. Okay. Yeah. By the pound, he, he, he eats um, his sister, my fiance. We will literally get like two going, like if we travel, we travel back from California a lot for shoots. Sure. And uh, that's like our roads thing. And like, but you know, your wrists are all red from it because you get into the bottom of it so quick. It's awesome. Yeah, he was eating on those. And the next thing you know, he was eating like a pound of it. And he was just like, he was like, oh, I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna suck because now I gotta go back to Minnesota and I know they don't have them in Minnesota yeah. right now at Whole Foods. Yeah, we're the one of the only ones that has it. Uh, we go to ones in LA and they're like, uh, we don't have really? it. Really? Yeah, it's kind of weird because huh. we're just like, so can you explain your process maybe a little bit of um, the how it differs for you guys making the donuts? Like what what is it your the base of your normal donut that's not in you know the vegan donuts? Like what's what's the difference? Um, just dairy. So what dairy are you guys using? Like a whole milk or something like that? Like yeah. It goes in your batter. It does. Yeah. yeah. So then the other ones you're substituting it with uh, nut based milk maybe. It's uh, no, we don't put. It's all it's all, it all it's all mixed already. Yeah. So um, it's a soy based mix. Okay. Um, we don't we don't we don't add anything to it. Okay. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. So the question for you. Um, hold on. Are you vegetarian or vegan? Um, nah, I'm dairy free. Dairy free. Yeah. yeah. So I, I I just found that out. So you lactose dog? I, I was breaking out and I was trying to figure out what to do. Colleges, trying to figure it out. It's, you know, we're, I mean, we're a culture where we've been raised to eat certain things because it's what we were told. You know, our food pyramid used to be something we live by. Now they're like, oh my God, don't. Yeah. But we had her at 100 and I met her, she had 20,000. We built her, I used to do a lot of organic marketing at our agency. So we can definitely sit down and discuss it. We can do some stuff because I would, I would like the opportunity to come in. All right, guys, so we just got done doing this uh, vegan versus vegetarian talk. Um, did some stuff with like a chef, um, Chef Jeff, which was really awesome. Um, it's really cool. I'm glad I did this. So I hope you guys have a new perspective on vegetarian and veganism, um, and I hope you guys maybe can join the movement and uh, eat healthy, eat good food, and um, maybe take a, a hop or a leap out to uh, try some vegan stuff and. Um, stop thinking that it's you know gonna be gross or not taste right. Um, they got some amazing foods So I'll check you guys later Remember smash the subscribe button like my video
Um, I'm gonna be posting more soon. Um, so I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for all your love. Peace out. Remember, stay awesome. All your dreams will come true if you push. Peace out.